Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We're the RC Sailors. Welcome to our RC family. And in today's video, we're at the uh, park here in Ashland to drive the <laughs> Toyato. 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 <laughs> Toyato, Toyato. Um, point is, it's not a Toyota. We made a mistake. Made a mistake. You know those little uh, phrases that you can see? If all the letters are in the word, but they're all scrambled up like banana, it's all spelled wrong. But as long as the first and last letter are the same. Well, in this case, it wasn't that, but no. <laughs> we still did it anyways. <laughs> it, it was just one letter was changed and, um, well, it's switched. You know, Two yeah, letters were switched. It was the switched. same font and everything as the actual Toyota, at least very close to it. And obviously, I think that's what they were going for. But all you RC uh, hardcore enthusiasts, especially, uh, <laughs> will we'll know that this is a Tamiya or Tamiya. Bruiser look like it on the front. So there's a few what we're gonna do today is go trailing with this truck and we're just gonna talk about it for a couple minutes before we do, okay? So I've I've learned a few things, I've tried to do a little bit more research. So I think there's a lot of people that are like new to our channel and just don't understand that we open things and go play with them. I don't really do a lot of research beforehand, especially if it wasn't super expensive, which this wasn't. It was like 220 bucks, and um, that's expensive. Uh, it is, but but the Tamiya version of this was like a thousand dollars, and so if I was going to drop a thousand dollars on a truck, I would probably know what that screw does, what that nut does, what that bolt does, what that body clip is really for. At the 200 dollars price range, ready to run. That's kind of like. Let's open it and play with it. And so that's what we do on our channel. Hi, we're the RC Sailors. So a lot of people, especially especially our ground vehicle crowd, can be a little more critical of that. And they want us to like talk about every single detail. We like we know this looks like other trucks. Yes. Like we are very aware. Yes. <laughs> don't all trucks look like other trucks? Yes. They all have four wheels. <laughs> they all go forward. So if you're here to be super critical, I will walk you. Bye. Otherwise, let's have some fun with this. And I, I do appreciate constructive criticism and just positive, uh, like, I'm okay with being wrong. I'm wrong all the time. In every video, there's at least 10 times I'm wrong, I promise. Um, but a lot of times people will point that out in the comments section, and if it's positive, I learn from it and I pass that information along in a new video, or I'll even pin those comments to the top if they're extremely constructive. So uh, what I'm getting at is this is a lookalike of the Tamiya or Tamiya Bruiser. That's an older vehicle. It's like, I don't know, I'm ballparking. And the Toyota Hilux that yes, they make too. Yes, uh, but I And we've had a Thunder Tiger Hilux yes. on the channel before yeah, as well. Yeah, so there's a lot of things that this does look like, but it's very resemblance. Uh, uh, it very much resembles the uh, Tamiya Bruiser. So I wanted to point that out. Um, the, I even at the end of my video, I uh, told you guys a few things that I didn't like, one of which is the steering servo, and I still don't like it. That needs to be replaced. And the steering servo linkage uh, is kind of loose and it <clears throat> has a lot of play. So that needs to be tightened up somehow. That'll take a little bit of work. But this truck, in my opinion, is one worth keeping and making adjustments to. Um, as mentioned in the other video, I would paint this, but <clears throat> even more prominently, and even the back bumper too. Uh, the white truck very much looks like it needs to be painted. The black one I, I just like more, but I think that the whole thing comes with intentions to paint it. So I don't even think they ever wanted you to have this like bland one color look, and that, that's very clear with the white version. Um, I wanted to show you the battery system because it, it comes with a battery. I can't really complain about that, but it's a 1500 milliamp, so I want a super longer runtime. Even though I got a really good runtime out of that other battery, like at least at least 20 minutes, at least, and I, it's still not dead. So uh, now I have my 5,000 milliamp. I use these batteries all the time. It's a nice hard shell. Uh, it fits in all my trucks, and hey, if it's perfectly in here. So I'm very happy with that. Rubber band system, some people liked it, some people didn't. I'm okay with it. Uh, I have no major complaints. It's rubber band, so it's like, it feels cheap and you think, oh, that's cheap and they took a shortcut, but look, it works. And you can put another rubber band on there too if you wanna have a crisscross setup, a Dean's connection. So that's awesome. Um, 
but here's where the, here's where people got really upset with me. We were doing the hill climb challenge stuff with this truck. Yes, we actually got out and ran it to have fun with it. Right and out of the box. Right out of the box. That's what we always do. That's what, hey, we're the RC Sailors. Um, <laughs> but it couldn't climb the hill. And that's because, and I'm going to get so many technologically, terminologically things wrong here. Uh, Alex, I'll talk about it, but I'm not even gonna try to hit the terms. Basically, there's, there's a differential system in here where uh, just like your real car, let's say one tire, if your real car had four wheel drive, one tire gets hung up, um, it allows the other tire to still spin. See, check that out, right? Well, that's actually spinning the motor, but there's, here, watch this. See how one spins in the opposite direction? So if one tire gets hung up, the other tire is allowed to spin freely. And that kind of saves your whole um, gearing system can save your motor it can save all your good parts by allowing that but it doesn't make for a very good hill climb truck so or crawler what, or crawler that's right uh, so what they've done and I didn't realize this was in my little baggie of spare parts they included a pin a little pin like a little metal looks like a doll nail without a head on the nail it's just a little piece of metal and that little piece of metal is designed to go in here and there's a little screw with an allen wrench top oops uh it's right there i'm just barely touching the and you back that out this took me forever to figure this out because this is a first for me uh which you know some of you guys probably hate but whatever <laughs> uh, you back that out you put the little pin in there a little metal pin and then you put your little allen uh screw back on and you know I don't personally see a major difference yet. Maybe I did something wrong. I might have just jammed a piece of metal inside of that and it wasn't supposed to go in there. But I checked toward the back of the instruction booklet in mostly Chinese. So a lot of people kind of gave me a hard time saying, uh, Nate, you didn't read the instructions. Well, it was on page 100 and it was in like 99% Chinese, but there was a picture. So I tried and I looked up YouTube videos, all the first for me, and um, I got the rear one in. I kind of tried on the front, but the front is so buried, I'm gonna have to kind of like, maybe take the front bumper off and this little shield here before I can gain access to it. But I also didn't want to do damage where I didn't need to, because I'm learning about this. So we're gonna see if locking the rear differential, hope I said all that right, uh, helps in this truck's ability to drive around. Now, some people, I got some friends that watch the videos, our channel, and they say you can put in some really thick grease in there instead of that little pin. And to me, that sounds like a better option, uh, but then it's kind of hard to get that grease out unless you take it all apart. So the pin, but the pin is in there and I, I don't think I can back that back out. We'll see what happens. I may have just completely destroyed this truck, but it was all in effort to appease the online grouchos okay we are just here to have fun i just want to have fun but if you guys sometimes it's like whoa they had too much fun let's be mean and so that's kind of where i'm at right now uh, but i want to just have more fun with this and <laughs> we're here to just go kind of take it down through a lot of you guys don't get me wrong love this truck <sighs> loved it and i love you guys because you're that's we're just here to have enjoy the hobby and have have some fun um i might have broke my truck because of the grouchy people in the world <laughs> on, on, what, what's your input there abby um truck people are always the harshest people on our channel it never fails um it's always kind of funny the second we get over like a hundred dollar price range here they come <laughs> Oh. And that's how it's always been from the very beginning. And it's always been kind of humorous to me and Nathan. Here's, here's another thing. Uh, but, uh, you know, if, even if you did break the truck, I'm sure we can find this big yeah, pumpkin yeah, thing and yeah, fix it. So it's yes. not like it's that big of a deal. And, and, and another funny, really funny thing was we did this truck, right? And it was kind of like a build up to your truck, Abby. Right. And uh, we showed everyone this one and people were like, what? That's a knockoff of a thousand dollar truck. Why didn't you just buy a thousand dollar truck? Cheap skates. And then we have a three hundred and some dollar the truck. The next day. The next day, and people are like, Whoa, "That's too expensive. Way too much money." <laughs> what? <laughs> what is wrong? What is wrong? It with makes that? 
makes us laugh. What's wrong? The world is like, calm down. It's a toy. Just have fun with it, Just guys. Just go play with it. Play. Let's go play with it. Let's take our own advice after 10 minutes of complaining ourselves oh. and go have fun with it. Hopefully somebody learned. I, I'm hoping somebody like learned something. Like what? Oh, if you're trying to do that, no, the no, internet no. is not the place to try no, 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 that's not what I mean. I mean, from with the truck, I'm hoping someone learned something with the, the, you know, maybe I taught someone. Maybe I taught someone how not to install the, uh, the pin in the rear clutch ball. Let's drive this, Nathan. Link text to read <laughs> Come on. Let's go. All right, there is my truck that's probably a ticking time bomb but I still think it looks cool. It does need a better steering servo. Did you have something against that stick? Yes. It was in my way. Okay. You know what? I like this spot. Let's see if this truck can come back up this spot. Okay. Come on, you little truck you. Toy Ato. Look at that. So, okay, all right. Can, can we do it? See, this is just kind of a wimpy little hill. But it's doing it. It's doing it. Okay, all right. All right. Okay. Okay, maybe the piece of metal in the back is helping it. Let's see, let's see, are both wheels spinning? Yeah, okay, look, come here, come here. This is a good example. So you see the back wheels, how they're both spinning? But the front wheels, okay, go back, go to the front. The left one is spinning, but the right one is not. Because you didn't put the lock and in I it. I didn't lock the front. Yes, this is a good example. Okay, hey, high five me, internet guys. You knew something. You made me feel bad. I cried myself to sleep, but I learned something. Okay, be mean. Hey, I just learned something for the whole... It's okay to be mean, as long as someone learns something. No. I'm kidding, don't be mean. <laughs> okay, that's cool though, because that's actually seeing it I don't in... think they were really mean, just overly critical. Uh, okay. Like, Look, lots though, of you guys. I'm really happy about this. I'm really... But it's both... not going anywhere. I don't... I need new tires. That's, that's what I'm learning about this now. Okay, <laughs> it's all Abby. I didn't need that. But that's cool, right? That's cool. It's working. Look, okay, okay. And then it, it, it actually is, okay, there's a rock there. It's stuck on the middle section, so that's pretty cool. Um, oh, okay, come on, little truck. Maybe I should have locked all four. <laughs> I think that's that what stick that I destroyed. You right now. Why didn't you just go ahead and well, do it? I was just trying to learn and I didn't want to break anything. Now, as long as I keep a little bit of speed up, it can climb. But unlike your awesome truck, uh, yeah, let me turn it on. Sorry about yeah, that. Mike can, Mike yours, can stop on a can dime just, and then yeah. continue to climb. <laughs> yeah. But this one just looks a lot like more scale and stuff, you know? All right, let's go. I let's like go the on an adventure. Nathan, I like the way mine looks. Ah. An adventure into the valley. Ooh, that was a bounce. Now the extra weight from my battery probably helps a little bit too. Oh, come on there, Abby. Yeah, it struggles to turn. There we go. This thing is gonna run forever on that 5,000 milliamp. You got it, little Toyamato. Quasimodo. We're on an adventure to the bridge. Did you guys know this spot that we are at now is where we basically started our YouTube channel? Should go back and look at like the first 10 videos. <laughs> Laugh hard while you're there. Leave a comment. Oh yeah, please do. 
Let's see how it does with the crunchy leaves, Abby. Okay. See, this is just, this is fun. Look at that chrome shining. You just come out here, spend an evening at the park with your truck. Think of the bridge. Come to the bridge. Oh, nice. That was cool. Yeah, locking those differentials. You got power. Sweet. Steering kind of gets stuck. Oh yeah, it does. It's really... That's why, did you see me crossing that bridge? Yeah, yeah, the steering servo and the linkage, it's pretty much junk. I am not afraid to admit that. I picked out a truck with a junky steering servo, but that can be upgraded, you know? As long as, I just wanted to like test these other things first. Can you lock the differential stuff? Can you upgrade the battery, you know, will it fit? Yes, you can. So now it might be, oh, okay, let's get closer. Now it might be worth the investment of a good $30 servo, right? Don't even have to spend that much. No, oh, I don't know about that, Abby. That's a pretty, oh, no way. Okay, for this little, oh no, too far back. Don't want to hit it too hard. Oh. There we go. Okay. Oh no! Hey! There it is. Okay. I just, I like this truck. I just, I just like this truck. Oh, you see a rock? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that's cool. That's just fun. That's fun. That's why we like this thing. And then it gets stuck on a twig. There you go. You got it. There, yeah. Metal parts. That's right. You climbed that hill, truck. Aw, Nate wants to drive. <laughs> well, here's why. Uh, so the next video you guys see tomorrow will be Abby driving her truck and I can almost guarantee 90% of that video at least will be her driving and me going like this. Oh, get closer Abby. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I do want to drive. <laughs> okay, let's go through this forest. Okay. Okay, let's see. Can we do it? No, because my steering servo won't let me. Okay, we'll try from this angle where steering does not matter. Oh, come on, baby. Get a little speed up there. It's heavy enough that it can push down some stuff that other trucks can't. So that's cool. Like, see how not that bigger tree. Uh, there's a tree stump there. So let me come. Here, let's try this one. See this tree right here? Yeah. Let's just see. I'm just curious. Are you going to try to knock it down? Yeah. It sounds like you just strip something. It's just a tire rubbing a leaf. Oh. Okay, well, I can't knock that down. <laughs> knock but it those cannot, down. Look at that little, the shrubbery, the brush. See, like... Oh, I can't do the baby tree. I thought it could. <laughs> oh my gosh. Toyato! <laughs> Ato, I like Ato. What do you guys like? Auto, like A-U-T-O, if that's how you were going to say it, or Ato, like... A T E O. <laughs> I like Toyato. Poor little truck. I just, I just think I feel bad for it sometimes. <laughs> Do you feel bad for the truck? It yeah. definitely needs work. It does. I ride out of the box. It needs work. It needs some TLC, some love. I mean, it'll who will, run. Right someone out of the box. who will invest time and money into it and bring out its inner beauty <laughs> or, or do plastic surgery on it and make yeah. it better. <laughs>
I, I'm enjoying it. And I know a lot of people have been enjoying this. And in fact, some people said they bought one right after watching our video. And you know, that's awesome because I want, I want to spread the enthusiasm and I don't want to bring people down. I just, uh, oh boy, a group of people brought me down. That's what, it, that's what happened. And I'm enjoying this. I don't care what anyone says, you know, maybe, maybe me putting that pin in there, I'm only going to get three more runs out of this, but oh, it's fun. This is cool. Just driving it around like this. Perfect. I'm so happy with this. I made a video uh, like years ago, Abby and I did, and it was it was uh, like fifty dollar truck better than five hundred dollar truck? Question <laughs> mark. When we made that, oh my gosh, the trolls came out. They said, "No, my." blank name of truck that I'm not allowed to say is better than yours. And I, well, yeah, you spent, you know, spent a thousand dollars on your truck. So yes, it should be better than that. Uh, but the, the point of that video was you can have fun with just about anything as long as it's not just a total headache. And as you can see, I'm able to steer around and drive doing stuff like this. But this, if you wanted it to be like a hardcore trailing like competitive truck make it around the whole lake for you know five six miles as you hike around not for you no and it, it's gonna need some upgrades if you want it to do that even my look at my rearview mirror just flopping around there. i mean this is cheaper than the tamiya and it would probably be cheaper to buy this body and, and then upgrade the parts inside oh, yeah than half just the price. To buy the and truck. i have nothing against tamiya they make really good stuff uh but you know not everyone can afford to me. Not everyone can afford it. Nice low shot of it, Abby. <laughs> What's your name? Bring the Abby. Okay, well, I mean, this battery is not gonna die. You guys, we're gonna we're gonna probably drive this for like three more hours today, uh, just chilling here in the park on that one battery. I mean, realistically, probably two more hours. I'm not kidding. This thing will last forever. And uh, I like it. It's not. I was worried that when I put that pin in there, it was going to lock up or fall apart or just like grind to a halt or something because I've never done that before. That was new to me. And uh, so I learned something. I, I really did. I'm glad I did that. I took the time to do that and, you know, test a couple other things out too. Look, it's not a perfect truck. It's far from it. But for that price point, I think it's really cool. It's very different from what we see in most of these like Chinese knockoff trucks that are uh, 100 200 300 dollars it's a lot of plastic this has a ton of metal it's even got a three speed transmission i didn't show you that in this video but i like it in the low speed the most showed it in the other video yes that's right um all the trim functionality it's completely ready to run it even has its own charger and battery check out the other video if you want to see all the stuff that comes with this truck i just i'm even talking to you guys thousands of people and i can't stand like, i just want to keep driving it so i'm having fun with it i'm having fun with it i like it a lot I'll we'll have it linked in the description box below if you want to check it out for yourself. Um, I personally recommend it. That's how I feel about it. And I've driven a lot of trucks. Do you like it? Don't compare it to your truck. Well, listen, this is $220. How much was my truck? $320? Another hundred. It's another hundred dollars. It's a different breed of truck. It's a different breed and I like it better. <laughs> but look. This one needs work. That's my opinion of it. Maybe some new tires. New tires, better new steering, steering servo, at least. Yes. At the bare minimum. For, for me to enjoy it more with doing crawling stuff, which is what it's supposed to be doing, that's what I need to happen. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. I love you, though. Honest <laughs> opinions. We're not going to hold back. We have... We have no reason not to tell you guys our honest opinions about something. And I think that's why you guys swing by and hang out with us. Uh, there's so many people out there that just sell these things. And I'm never going to do that because I don't have a thousand of these sitting in my garage. So I'm not selling a single one. Uh, this is fun. This is, I, I, I like it, but I think you're ready to drive your truck. We're I'm gonna drive this around way back. ready. And I have to climb back up that hill. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Guys, if you appreciate our uh, our honest videos and just the fun that we have, especially being like four weeks away from having this baby now, if you're gonna support us on Patreon, you know. Boom! Cool with it.
with that. Cool with that. Uh, and to those patrons who do already support us, thank you. You're the reason we're able to do fun stuff on our channel and just keep the content rolling. Couldn't do it without you guys. And just for everyone watching, it really means a lot to us. Thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.